In this import tutorial, we're going to talk a bit about how to bring wireframes into OpenVSP as either Hermit file or Plot3D file formats. So first, let's do a demonstration where we take a Hermit file and bring it in as a triangulated mesh. So here's our pod plane example. All I did was export this as a Hermit format, and we're going to bring it back in. Click Accept. And so on the surface, it looks like we wrote an STL, any other type of thing. And in reality, that's kind of what it is. It took that format, patched everything together. It understands that the surface normals are all of a certain direction and everything worked out okay. But take a look at what is actually going on under the hood. The left side of this aircraft has all the surface normals where the light is bouncing off of the top surface and it's reflected the way that it should be. However, on the other side, the surface normals are actually inside out. And so what's happening here is the surface normals have been flipped for that side of the triangles uh, because it came in and imported. So you, you do need to be careful when you bring these things in. It looks like it also did it on this vertical tail um, because that was, in fact, the right-hand side of the aircraft or the wing here rotated upward. Now, let's see what happens if we bring that in as a wireframe instead. Let's delete that out, bring in our prop plane again. And again, we're going to shade it but we have to pick all these components because now it knows that these are all independent pieces. So if we shade this, this happened to come in just fine because it treats it like a wireframe instead of trying to patch everything together like a mesh. Now, if we take a look at the right-hand side of this wing, notice that the normal vector is inverted. It did that automatically. So it knows that for that particular wireframe, it needed to invert it, it brought it in, imported just fine but the triangulated mesh didn't know to do that step. So it's pretty clever. But we brought that wireframe in, everything comes in, and it, you know, under the hood, it is an open VSP source geometry. So it looks exactly like it would as if we would have brought it in. You can do the same normal uh, wireframe operations as you can with any other type of wireframe, including skipping the start and end I direction or J direction, use stride, etc. cetera. Uh, so there's a video that covers how to do that. But just to show you uh, something else that's kind of useful about how to bring this stuff in, let's delete these components and bring in a plot 3D format from a NACA 4412. Now this was used to build up a CFD grid. So all I did was pull out the first layer and export it out as a plot 3D format. So you can see that this one still has the wake included and it's got a bunch of clustering at the leading and trailing edge. And so we may not necessarily need all of these points to make a good representative open VSP geometry of this. So just like with any other wireframe, you can come in and we can do things like destride in the J direction and kind of derez that surface. Notice that all it's doing is it's skipping some of these. So because we have a rougher resolution on the upper and lower surfaces than say the leading and trailing edge, yes, we're losing some of that resolution, but it's up to you to decide if you really need that or not. But what we've done is we've effectively captured, you know, 25% of the points. We can use skip to uh, exclude everything except for the airfoil itself. And then you have a geometry that you can work with. So that's a few different ways that you can work with wireframes by bringing uh, Plot3D or Hermit files into OpenVSP and then building your model off of that.